Hey guys, uh, Coach Chris, a couple uh, last minute swim tips for Ironman Wisconsin. Um, this is a picture of the Helix and the swim start area. Um, what I highly recommend, if you know some other people doing the race, uh, meet up with them beforehand. It'll keep you a lot calmer. So we're going to take a group picture right at the top of the Helix at about 6.15 before we start going down the ramp. Just off to the side a little bit out of the way of everybody else. Um, and that way you can kind of calm your nerves, high five people, feel good, feel positive. Um, and distract yourself a little bit from that swim start. Um, then we walk down the helix. Um, I think you can drop off your dry clothes bags down here, and then you get into the water. You definitely want to get in early. There's a long line. It gets very delayed. If you are in the back, you're going to end up not getting in the water before the cannon goes off. So you want to make sure you get in the water beforehand. Give yourself time to warm up. Um, so at the latest 645, you should be down here at the bottom on your way into the water. You want to get into the water 650, 655 at the very latest. Um, the physically challenged start is usually 650, so you'll hear a, a, a first cannon go off or a first uh, announcement um, 10 minutes early, and you should definitely be getting in the water at that point. Um, then as you get out into the water, um, a good thing to think about is where do you want to position yourself. Um, what I'm going to shoot for this year, I've, I've tried the swimming line with the buoys here, lining up here, and this was a melee the whole way through. Um, I've also tried swimming over here, but a lot of people come in last minute, and you also don't necessarily have a straight line to swim towards. Still not a bad area to go necessarily. What I'm going to shoot for, and you can notice here, is a little bit of a less crowded area on the back side of the ramp. So of the ski jump ramp that's in the water, I'm going to swim out here, tread water, hang around the back. If I'm feeling confident, I might move a little further up. I'm going to try to swim there. Yes, it's in the middle of the whole line, but if you swim this way, you're going to have more of a chance to find open water, either going to the left or to the right. You'll have more options, hopefully stay a little bit calmer. Um, also remember to use all those tips to stay calm in the swim start. Make sure you're taking long and strong strokes. Long and strong, long and strong. That should be in your mind the whole time. Long arm out in front so you're protecting your head at all times, almost doing the catch-up drill. And then a strong finish at the end to make sure you're not increasing your stroke rate too high um, or swimming inefficiently um, because that's what's going to cause your heart rate to go up. Think of yourself like a giant walrus surrounded by a small uh, or a big school of minnows. If you get bumped, just keep swimming. You know, you're, you're bigger than everybody else. Think of it that way. Um, don't get freaked out. You will get bumped into. Um, just swim your swim. Try to ignore as much of, you, of it that you can. So um, if you want to meet up with me or you want to try this swim start, um, what I would recommend is coming out to the ski jump ramp, starting out around there. Or if you want to, just drift off towards the back, let the whole wave go. Take your time. Um, best thing you can do is start slow on that swim. Keep your heart rate down, stay calm, unless you're really shooting for an aggressive time, in which case definitely line up near the front somewhere and that'll definitely help. Um, one other tip, last thing, um, the turn buoys, make sure that you swim past them. Don't swim towards those turn buoys. It is an absolute melee, a cluster right around the buoy. Swim past it, then turn and go wide. Just continue to swim your swim. The first two swim buoys especially, it's very, very congested, people swimming all over each other. Um, if you get stuck in that situation, just swim with your head out the whole time um, so you can find open space and really manage that better. But the best thing you can do is just swim past the buoy and take a wide turn. You'll actually end up swimming faster because you won't get stuck in that accordion effect. So um, use those tips. Hopefully you'll have a great swim and uh, good luck.